and welcome to Ellipse Tips. The move of the week this week is a burpee with a deadlift. Last week we talked about the burpee by itself. The burpee is a fantastic move. You can pair it with a lot of different other moves to get more benefit. You need um, very little equipment to work with the burpee. And so this time, today, we're going to pair a burpee with a deadlift and really focus on those large muscle groups in the lower part of the body. So we're going to first start off with our standard burpee. I'm demoing today with kettlebells. The handles on the kettlebells make the deadlift in this move. Um, it's just a very nice, easy grab to get into your deadlift. So we start off with the burpee, hands on the floor, jump the feet back, jump the feet in, land in the heels, ready to stand. You want a good heel contact with the floor. Grab onto those kettlebells. Now push the heels into the floor, squeeze the glutes, and stand. Set the weights back down. Remember to set the weights. We're not bending at the waist. We're bringing the butt down and coming back down into a nice squat. Burpee again. Stand, set those feet. Lift, set, burpee, and then continue. Now, if this is a lot for you, if a burpee is a lot on your joints, you can get all the benefit of the burpee without the jump by placing the hands on the floor, walking the feet back, walking the feet in, and then doing that deadlift. And if the weights in the deadlift are a little bit much, just lighten up on those weights. That's totally fine. If you'd like to amp this up a little bit, you can do a number of things. You can add a jump to the top of that burpee. Here, jump, then land, grab, and stand. Or you can just lighten those weights. Try these in sets of 15, or really challenge yourself. Set a timer and see how many reps you can complete in a 30 second or one minute cycle. For more information, log on to ellipsefitness.com.